deposit a check to somebody cash one day. And so if a manifestation appeared, even for us, it was like. So even when you begin to start to bust brakes, don't call me, oh my goodness, for real, did that just happen? Did you say that was going to happen? Did you say it six months you were going to be a national? Did you say if I did that you would be a global? Did you say if I did that you would be a regional? Did you say you would be an executive director? Come on now. So, as I think about this area that I'm going to discuss, and God knows I may need my husband just to help me with that clicker. I'm so not good with that. Wait a minute. Let me get over to the positive side. I'm so good with that clicker. <laughs> yeah. Go to, go to the next one. As I thought about these things, and a lot of times I get these questions asked, Monika, what is it that you do? I need some steps. I need some tips. I really need you to give me some nuggets. How have you been able to be successful? Tell me what types of things have you been able to do? The things that I share with you right now are spiritual things that if you adhere to them and work on them, I promise you, not only will you see success in your business, but just in your life. Because one of the things that I always try to hit on is I always like to give people something that will they be able to take with them outside of even business. Because this is life, right? And so they can be applied to business. So right there where you see are blessing blockers in business. And so this first one we're going to deal with on today. Oh, yeah, I know some of y'all think, oh, my goodness, I didn't come in here to have church. But it's this word right here. Come on, say it with me. And even as Dexter was talking and he was speaking, he was talking about how all of the thoughts come to your mind. And, you know, but then when you hear something, you, you're able to, like, wait a minute. You know, you focus on that thought. And so as, even as he was sharing, I was over there thinking about, okay, presenting. And okay, okay, I got to get this, got to get this. Let me tell you this person. But as soon as he said, oh, one thing, and my mind just was like, yeah, that's right there. So all of that to say this, there was a TV show, um, it was, Oprah was on TV, so this to let you know how long it was because it was doing her talk show, not the own network. And it lets you know like how long ago that was. And when she gave this definition, I don't know what else, we're busy doing it, we're cleaning, I don't know, if we had folk and pamphlets by this time, y'all be changing diapers for 15 years. <laughs> but when she said it, it resonated with me. So I want to give you this definition. And basically, we're talking about unforgiveness, but the definition of forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past will be different. That's good. Giving up the hope that the past will be different, putting the past differences aside. Right? So you're giving up the hope that it's going to be different. I don't care how, what, how much I go back there, things will not change, right? So now I've got to move forward into the now and not stay back there, okay? And so what happens when we begin to uh, walk in even unforgiveness, it's so self-centered, guys, because all we're thinking about is ourselves. And so it begins to steal time from us, right? Time that you can be building your business. Because why I'm supposed to be on this call or doing follow-up with someone, I'm thinking about how this person hurt me, how they did me, why they didn't do this for me, right? I'm all in the past, right? So while I'm supposed to be productive, I'm not productive. What happened? 
happens when we don't forgive is it paralyzes us. Mm. Right? It stifles us, it hinders us, it keeps us immobile. The word mobility means to move. Movement, movement, movement. I'm going to do a demonstration a few minutes ago. I mean, a few minutes from now, but it's going to be talking about something similar that my brother just hit on in terms of just being focused, right? See, these things come to destroy us. They come to lock us up. They come to press us down, right? And so when you are so busy in your mind, think about what sister so-and-so did, or brother so-and-so, or mama, or daddy, or uncle, cousin, whoever, team member, upline, success line, down line, side line, pop up. It begins to stifle stuff. Yeah. 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 So that things can't really flow like they need to flow. And so I just read, I've just read that, but go to the next slide for me. I just read that, but I, I got something that I really want you all to do today. And we're not going to be looking at each other's papers. Or maybe if you don't, you know, feel a little comfortable with this assignment. Text it to yourself. I really want all of us in here. Because, you know, make no mistakes about it. At some point in time, we all dealt with holding some feelings of hatred, maybe pain, or anger with someone. Make no mistakes about it. Most of the times, it's the people that's close to us. So I want you to write down some names today. What does this have to do with your business? It has everything to do with your business because as you release people, what also happens is the release of wealth starts to come to you. Have you ever been around a person that was just so bitter? And so guess what? As a result of that, a lot of people just don't really want to be around it anymore. And it may not be that they want to be bitter, I don't want to be better yet. I want to be better. Yes. But because of hurts and some things that they've not dealt with in the past, it has allowed that to stay all around them. And so now as business builders, if we're saying, we want you to do this, we want you to go out, we want you to prosper, we want you to talk to people, if you have that energy, that aura around you, even as an individual or as a business builder, whether they met you today a few hours ago or a few years ago or months ago, they can... Pick it up. Right? So we're going to do that. So I want you all to write down some names of people in here. Um, no, for those of you who are in here, I want you to write down names of people. <laughs> well, maybe that's all I'm going to Orchestrated her and her friend and came in and cook, right? Yes. So Jasmine's dream one day to open up her own bakery. Yes. Yeah. 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 And she made her, her six feet two tall model. Where were we at? Oh, when I said, let's get to this side of the room. Maybe there's some people in here, because that did come out, and I don't believe in common sense, that we need to release. And let them go. So even if they sit beside you, write the name down. <laughs> I release you. I let you go. It's been holding up my blessings. It's been holding up my rank advancement. It's been holding up my ability to really be free. And who I'm supposed to be in this business. When I came to Total Life Changes, guys, I was so bitter with network marketing. 
Some of y'all heard this before, especially my team members. I was so bitter with network marketing. But I didn't go out telling everybody, y'all bitter with network It just came out of me. Because two, a lot of times we don't forget because we're trying to protect ourselves, right? It still is a distraction, it still is a hindrance, right? But I was so bitter. And I remember um, my husband and our VP of sales, Mr. Kenny Lloyd, we had several come to Jesus meetings, as I would call them. <laughs> y'all not gonna do this to me, y'all not gonna hurt me. Let me tell y'all, I was really nasty. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Your sister. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would be nasty. So, in the beginning, and Jayla, hey, Jayla, love. I and so, like, in the beginning, right, when we're trying to really get this thing going, y'all, I'm telling you guys, we were on the phone till, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. And then, you know, it just, and it's because bitterness and unforgiveness, it'll cause you to do some crazy stuff. Right, sister? Mm -hmm. Stuff that you say, is that me? Yeah, yeah that's you. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, my husband, the only one that's working. All of them, you know, they ain't working. So we can't be on them. And plus, we're at Eastern Standard Time. No, we're going to hang up the phone, and we're not going to, no. I mean, just, just all that kind of stuff. Because we were on the phone, you know, in the beginning, trying to really move and grow this thing. You guys, we were up so many nights. No one taught us how to do a presentation. Everything that we had, we started with Team USA, when TLC was in Spanish. I don't know how to speak Spanish. We didn't have nobody to teach us how to present a TLC opportunity. Business meeting. We didn't know how to do a scissor call for TLC. We didn't know about the products. We didn't know anything about the HCG, the ISOT. We didn't know none of that. So in the beginning, there were so many nights that we spent up on a call at like one or two in the morning. And I'm like, Kenny, why are you doing these calls so late? Greg got to get up 5.30. Well, he got to leave for what, 5.30, right? And that's <laughs> But it can potentially tear your team apart. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. So I had to, Kenny was like, you don't even see what you bring, Lanika. Your giftings. You're very gifted. We need you. God has assigned you to this. But all of it was because I was so broken. We're in network marketing when we lost everything. So though there was something that was attached to the unforgiveness that I really, I now remember, um, and it was in the, the house that we just walked, uh, we moved out of, I remember just walking through the sidewalk, I mean the sidewalk, down a path, and I didn't have on any shoes, everybody was gone, and Greg was at work. He was doing his time, he was still working, right? And I just was walking up and down the sidewalk, and I was just like, but network marketing. I didn't realize that this was in me. I got some stuff in me that I gotta let go. That other company, I gotta let them go. Those leaders, I gotta let them go. We had built a million dollar business and then left with nothing. And then so I felt broken because I felt like people had just left us too. It was so much and I had to define it myself. I had to let it go. And I was like, I'm going to really operate in the capacity that I know you have called me to be, God. In TLC, as a leader, as one of the forerunners, as one of the trendsetters, as one of the pace setters. I got to get over this, and I got to get over this really, really fast. And I began to see some things even happen really, really fast with the whole unit. Because you never realize the piece of the puzzle that you are in this game called life. And so your selfishness and your unforgiveness and your bitterness is not just about you. Even if I look around, I would have said, stop that. We wouldn't have even had a little directors retreat. So who are you allowing 
to hold you back? That's the question. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about my little stuff, my issue. Tell us about you. And that's why I ask you to write down those names and be very truthful to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. I was very truthful to Greg and honest. Like, I'm like, I'm hurt. Right? I want you to write those names down. All right? Release them and let them go. And I even put, I wrote a prayer, you know, in the book, like, how, how do you pray, you know, that you had. Um, <coughs> can you do this um, to, do the, to the next slide? Wait a minute, go back. Later. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so before I go to the next thing I'm going to talk about, um, this is something that I wrote where we can detect, like, if there's some unforgiveness there, right? It may be some more, you know, maybe a little less, but if every time you see that individual, think about all sorts of bad emotions, there's something there that you're holding about release them and let them go. One thing that I had to do is I had to tell, say names. I released so and so and I let them go. Mm -hmm. And then too, it's a process. For some things, it's a process. And some stuff is just so deep rooted, right? You see and think nothing good about this person. Mm -hmm. Repeat, re repeatedly. Is that word right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm like, something about that just don't look right. Y'all, I rushed to put this together in five minutes before. <laughs> I'm not even going to act like it's all that deep. That's why I brought my book up here. I was having parties last night. I was tired. I was having death. I was to call the meter, telling that the, 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 the meter stopped. Came back and said, well, I'm going to do my PowerPoint presentation. But I really should have had it done. But we just been busy, y'all. It's going. And, um.